Hey everybody, welcome to the COVID Kitchen. It is Friday, so we're going to be dabbling in some fish. And since it's allegedly summer, uh, I've got the grill out again, the indoor uh, smokeless grill. And um, we're going we're gonna to give it a shot. We've got some wild salmon and a beautiful, colorful array of vegetables that we're going to, uh, to turn into a bruschetta. And uh, we've also got a zucchini here, which we're going to try to grill up. Uh, alongside the salmon and see if we can come up with a nice balanced delicious Friday feast All right, So first thing that we're going to do is we're going to get the, the bruschetta ready And I have put in a half tablespoon of olive oil with a half tablespoon of balsamic vinegar with a little bit of cracked pepper Into this bowl stirred it around mix it about and now we're going to add some onions and oh, I forgot to chop the onion and We're done And we're not going to add the onion uh, to that mixture and we're gonna mix that up and then we're going to let that sit for about five minutes while we handle the uh, the tomato and, uh, and we're also going to chop up a little bit of basil and we're going to have that mixed in here with the onion and uh, and the dressing and that's going to be we're going to once we let that sit a bit that's going to be the bruschetta and we're just going to put that on top of the salmon when it's done so the onions have been sitting for roughly five minutes and now we're going to add uh, the garlic and the basil as well. Bring those in. And then we're also going to put in the tomatoes, which we have chopped. There we go. And it's got a lot of nice, pretty colors in there right now. Stir that up. And we're again going to let that sit for a bit. That's, this is going to sit on the side while we make. Uh, the rest of the food, the fish, and uh, the zucchini on the grill. And once that's all set, it should probably have the flavors all soaked in and, uh, and should really be a, a delicious topping uh, for the fish. Take a look. Okay, so now we're going to marinate up the zucchini a little bit. So we've got the bruschetta going, and now we're going to kind of do something similar with the zucchini. I've, I've chopped my zucchini here in uh, roughly one quarter inch slices. Not the easiest thing to do. Maybe you've got one of those mandolin type situations and, and you can make that one a lot easier. Uh, but I do not. So I, I had to eyeball it and it wasn't that easy. So I'm going to put a half tablespoon of the red wine vinegar, a half tablespoon of the olive oil, and then uh, we're going to do half a teaspoon of the dried parsley. Fish that out. There you go and half a teaspoon of basil, the dry basil. We've got fresh basil in the bruschetta, uh, but dry basil for the zucchini. And then we've also got a quarter teaspoon uh, for a little bit of pizzazz of the garlic powder. And then we're going to kind of mix that up in the zucchini. Just, oops, I'm just gonna kind of use my hands a little bit. It's, you know, it's a dirty job, but somebody does have to do it. And uh, we're, we're going to mix those up, and, and then it'll be ready for the grill. So the next step is going to heat up the grill here, and when that's ready, we're going to start in on the fish, as, as well as some of these pieces of uh, zucchini. Okay, so the grates are warm, and the fish has been peppered up. This is where you'd also put on some salt, uh, but uh, I, I do saltless cooking. So um, you know, now we're just going to add the fish. Now these indoor grills are a little bit, uh, we're also going to put on the zucchini now as well, or at least as many as we can get on there. Um, the indoor grills are a little bit finicky, a little bit strange. Um, they kind of go at their own pace. Uh, ideally, on a regular grill, the fish would take about 8 to 10 minutes, the zucchini about 2 to 3 minutes per side, and, uh, and you'd be done. But I couldn't tell you how long it's going to take with, with this particular grill. We're gonna find out and see. So it's been 10 minutes, and I actually think the fish is pretty close to being done, if not outright done. Now, with, with fish, I mean, you know, sushi is tremendous, just flat out raw. So I mean, you can't really do much. Uh, if it's a little underdone, it's still gonna be okay, uh, especially if you salted it up. But we're going to uh, lift the fish off. We're gonna put this on the plate. Oh, oh, oh. And uh, we're going to cover uh, the, the delightful fish, which looks good. We're going to cover this now with uh, the bruschetta. After we've stuck 
an avocado in there, uh, mix it up, and then we're going to plate it. We're going to come back and, and take a look at it. So it's time to chow down, which is always my favorite part. We've got a, a lovely plate of some zucchini and uh, some salmon with, uh, with the bruschetta topping that I've also added some avocado to. And it seems pretty crispy. It seems fairly moist. And we'll get a little bit of bruschetta with it. Mm. It really does taste very good. The fish is, is well done, perfectly done. Um, the bruschetta is very nice. It's, it tastes very fresh. The tomatoes, the avocado make it creamy. Uh, it's pretty delightful. As for the zucchini, hmm, yeah, that's pretty good too. Good zucchini. So, all in all, an excellent fish Friday. Thanks for watching.